Welcome back to another episode of Wizard 101. Today, we are going into the Crip Insurance. Let's get started. So we have to defeat Dubrino, but that's gonna take a while to get up there because, well, the gates, which. Yeah. Okay. So, huh? Uh, we have to do battles before we get up there. Only five about five hundred meters ago.
Oh wow. Only about 170 meters. No, 165 meters. Wow, we're getting real close. Well, you will join me do. in the darkness of the afterlife. You're going down. Well, uh, you don't get it. Let's yes, try. Mine now.
the eye of truth appears. You take the eye of truth. All right, that was a simple quest. single claw? Some would call that a good bargain. If both or spoke without deceit, the Eye of Truth will reveal the foul enchantment upon Ivar Anderson and free him. To rescue our Thane, you must find him in Frostholm, the fortress of the Red Claw. Those left in the village are put to work making Frostholm, so they may know where Ivar is. Speak to Grimnir, the village elder who stayed in Anders Holt. If he knows anything, he will tell it to you. You should not have returned. It's dangerous out there. Fate put you here for a reason. I will help you. If you wish to get into the Red Claw Fort of Frostholm and rescue Ivar Anderson, your best hope is to sneak in and cause trouble for them from inside. They are looting the village and all the nearby lands of all our weapons. They do this to arm themselves and to keep us from fighting back. They have taken many weapons already, so now they're looking for the most valuable ones. If you present yourself at their gate with a great weapon, they will let you in. Ragnar Stormbrow, leader of the Red Claw here in Anders Holt, carries the finest weapon I have yet seen. We'll take it from it. They are certain to want it. Wizard! You think you're worthy to enter Frostholm? Ha! In your dreams. Enter at your own peril, as it is a dungeon. Okay, so yeah. It is a dungeon, but... We can do it. We can defeat him.
come in unless they're bringing supplies. Let me see what you've got there. That's a fine blade there. Just like the one Ragnar Stormbrow carries. You'll be glad to have it. You can use it as a spare. Go right in. Speak to Ulrich Oathbreaker inside. He will guide you. Oathbreaker leans forward and speaks in a whisper. You can trust me. Grimnir told me of an outlander who was trying to help us rid our village of the Red Claw. I pretended to break my oath so that I could learn how to defeat the Red Claw, but I am still loyal to my people. I can tell you how to cause trouble for the Red Claw and help you get to see Ivar Anderson. If your goal is to get to speak with Ivar Anderson, you must gain the trust of his henchman, Gunnar Quickaxe. Gunnar is the Red Claw camp leader. Go present yourself to Gunnar Quickaxe. Tell him you will work for him. When he gives you a task, return to me. We will see if we can turn it to our advantage. Okay, sure. Yo, you want to join the Red Claw, huh? You don't look like much, but we'll take anyone who's ruthless and resourceful. I see that you've got a good weapon to add to those we've already got. Good then. Go and find Haldor Stormwatcher. He's in charge of our weapon storehouse. I want to see that fine sword you brought us. It is as I thought. Haldor Stormwatcher is our quartermaster. He is in charge of the horde of weapons the Red Claw arm themselves with. If you wish to help the people of Anders Holt defeat Haldor Stormwatcher and sabotage the weapons he's got stored, that will weaken the Red Claw when they try to use them in battle. So yeah, let's take a look at the map. This is fast. Um. city from them and will rule all of Grizzleheim. What do you have for me? What do you mean it's not for me? Foolish young cub, step a bit closer and I'll take it from you. Yeah, good luck with that.
use some tricks the blacksmith taught you to weaken the metal of the weapons. With a little work, they become useless for battle. once more and see what task he will put you to. Such an opportunity can be used against the Red Claw. Okay. Sounds good. You again. Looking for more work, I gather. Very well. If you want to be useful, go and give this gift of fine golden arm rings to the boars that just joined the Red Claw. Their leader is named Scarstock. <laughs> Not too bright, has a rash temper, so do not anger him. Give him the gold and he'll distribute it to his warriors. That should show the boars that we respect them and see them as our equals. Gunnar gave you golden arm rings to give to Scar Snout, leader of the boars? Those are fine gifts, tokens of the highest respect. They won't see those arm rings, though. Ulrich looks around and pulls out a small wooden bottle. It looks like something a child would drink from. I found this earlier today. It's blueberry juice, a drink for cranky little cubs with upset stomachs. Give it to Scar Snout. Used to scar snout. A look of confusion crosses his face, then anger. What this? Blue juice for cranky Tommy? This drink for cop, not warrior. Gunner insults us? He thinks boys are cranky cops. Scar snout sent message back to Gunner. He start by smashing you. No. Okay. So now we have to defeat Scar Snout.
Now the Boars think the Red Claw has no respect for them. They are still troublesome, but they won't be allies. Our work, I think, is almost at an end. We can risk one more act of sabotage, and it had better be for the greatest good. Go and see Gunnar Quickaxe and see what mischief he will set you to. Then return once more, and we will try to make good of it. Já tem? Scare me.
did well. Olaf Iron Chains was evil, and the prisoners are safely away from here now. Gunnar hasn't heard of our acts of sabotage yet, so you should go speak to him now, before he does. He'll surely let you in to see Ivar Anderson after all that you've done for him. You there, I've heard some troubling news. Weapons destroyed, more angry, and now escaped prisoners. You're not with us. Brothers of the Red Claw, attack! Well, we take them all, but <laughs> it kills. It was our job to do that. I do not know who sent you, but you are not leaving here alive. Now we have to defeat Ivo? Anderson, okay. Hmm. This should be easy.
do I think you like country? upon the Thane falls away. His true identity is revealed. It does not matter that you've seen my true face. We have the Thane. You cannot stop us. You have defeated the imposter who betrayed the folk of Anders Holt. But where is the true Thane? Where is Ivar Anderson? Do the uh, teleport because there's a trap over there. Did 
to meet with success? A foul raven was disguised as Ivar Anderson? That's grim news indeed. That is why our Thane acted without honor and betrayed us. If he was a raven, then where is the real Ivar Anderson? You should go and give this news to Bjorn Ironclaws. He was a friend of Ivar's and will know what to do. Soon, thanks to you, we will be rid of the Red Claw. Yeah. That is true. Troubled the village of Anders Holt? Bjorn Ironclaws looks troubled as you explain that Ivar Anderson was replaced by a raven trickster who betrayed the folk of Anders Holt. You tell a dark tale, one I wish I had not heard. The king must know of this. I will tell him when we next hold council. Thank you for your help in this great matter. Your fame grows with every deed you accomplish. Soon you will be counted among Grizzleheim's mightiest heroes. Excuse me. Well, that's the end of this episode. I will see you guys next time in the next episode. Bye.